same key that we've had from the CAA tournament, right? The game honors toughness. We won a championship because we are the tougher basketball team. We have to have that same mindset and mentality for 40 minutes against these guys, all right? We are prepared for this moment. Let's go out and have fun. All right, together all three. One, two, three. Yeah. That's the head coach of the Blue Hens, Martin Inglesby. His dad played at Villanova. More on that later. Inglesby, a former point guard at Notre Dame. Reggie talked about Jameer Nelson, top scorer for the Blue Hens. Colin Gillespie leading the two-seed Villanova Wildcats. And they're coached by Jay Wright, his 21st season inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame this past fall. Our Hall of Famer across the way, we say hello to Dana Jacobson. Uh, that would not be me, but I will take it anyway, <laughs> Kevin. You know, I asked Jay Wright yesterday about Colin being back this year. He got a huge smile. So happy that this fixture of Villanova basketball didn't have to leave on last year's season ending injury. And I asked more about him, like what it is that he does right. He talked about him just making the right plays. That's what they asked him to do. The detail he gave me, he said, well, it's just he goes out there and we say do the right things. It's like this game he had. He goes out, he doesn't score a single point. He gets 10 offensive rebounds, fouls out of the game. Dan called him the guy that puts it all together. Jay called him the tone setter. Incredible player from Huntington Valley, Pennsylvania. And part of the great tradition of Wildcat basketball officials tonight. Mike Reed, 12th regional for him in his career. Tony Green in his 26th NCAA tournament, seven Final Fours, five national championships officiated along with Todd Austin in his fifth tournament. And Gillespie has it on top, Dan, to go against the Delaware Dean. And a tough man-to-man -man for Delaware. We talked about the fact that Villanova's going to shoot some threes. They have to make those threes. This is Kevin Anderson, who is a senior. All CAA tournament team got the screen. Nelson with the ball right now. Works on Slater. And this Delaware office is going to be tested here. They're a balanced scoring team that plays very tough inside. Nice inside passing there between the bigs. Davis being able to convert right there. And that's what it's going to take. Ball movement and man movement against a very, very stingy Wildcat defense. Jair Davis gets the two. Gillespie will probe down low. Dixon over Carr for two. It's really going to be tough for Delaware. They're going to have to bring some help against those guys inside. Uh, even the guards for Villanova do a great job posting up, but it's hard to bring help because they shoot the three so well. Samoa on the wing and Nelson on top. Got the switch on defense, works on Dixon. Here's a three. Rebound collected by Brandon Slater. And now Justin Moore machetes his way inside for two. Beautiful move there by Moore. Wasn't settling right there in transition at the three-point line. Put your head down and get all the way to the cup. There's not a lot of shot blocking on the floor here. Right for Delaware. Andrew Carr takes it inside. That now, kid had a great CAA tournament, he did, Kevin. Man. You're right. And he's going to have to use his height against Dixon. Dixon is going to use his strength and his body and his lower body against Carr. Carr has to use his height against Dixon. Samuels double. Dixon back outside. Grinding his way. Gets pass. it underneath. Samuel. No. Asimova gets the ball, and here comes Delaware. Last NCAA tournament appearance with an Asimova three right here, no good, was 2014. Prior to that, they made it four times in the 90s. Drive inside, Samuels had it rejected. Wow, that was some rejection. That was Davis getting way up there. Anderson to Nelson. Again, he goes against Dixon. He'll take it in. With a rebound collected by Justin Moore, a junior from Fort Washington, Maryland. Travel. Hesitating at Slater. Travel. What we're seeing here with Villanova, Kevin, you, you, Reggie was talking about their stingy defense. You look at them, they're all about the same size. Yeah. And so on defense, they switch just about everything. 
and they can really put some pressure on you. And they're really going to be small now. Daniels coming in for Dixon. Look how small now that Villanova is. And you move Samuels over as that center to guard Carr. Yeah, but they're really strong-looking guys, Reggie. Among their regulars, the only one who's smaller than 6'4", 200 pounds is Gillespie, and he's 6'3", 195. This is Kevin Anderson dashing down the lane. Good patience, right? Good patience here yep. by the Blue Hands. And you can't shoot the ball quickly versus Villanova. You will be playing into their hands. If you can move the ball side to side and then make a play like that from Anderson, Samuels a screen, Gillespie with a three. Samuels tried to get the ball, and it's picked up inside by Carl. Well, Reggie's absolutely right about moving the ball. You move the ball, you move players, particularly against a defense that switches a lot, and eventually you're going to get a pretty good opportunity. It's Kevin Anderson on the wing. Carl, he'll show some resolve as he takes it in. Asamoah with a three, rebound by Jermaine Samuels. With a whistle and a foul. It's on Daniels and will step aside. Delaware early two point lead, taking a look at advanced stats presented by Invesco QQQ. It centers on Jameer Nelson. Red, you were talking about him at the open, and he is a player that you really got to keep an eye on. Well, yeah, he's 6'1". But look at his shoulders and his frame. I mean, this guy has a bulldog type game. He can get into the lane. He can finish amongst the trees. He can shoot threes. We talked about the balance scoring on this Blue Hens team. That's what makes them so dangerous. Well, yes, Jamil Nelson Jr. has the name, but the rest of these guys do a great job of scoring the basketball as well. Interesting sub story. Dylan Painter, who used to play for Villanova, now Delaware on the floor. Just off the bench. All CAA a season ago, Anderson fought three, goes against Slater. Dan, you're right, Delaware is patient, but right now the shot clock at three and penetrating is Nelson. And Painter goes down. And Gillespie throws the other way and has got Daniels and back to Gillespie with a fake and a twirling head over heel move. Wow, what a and dangerous a foul, play yeah. that could have been for Jameer Nelson Jr. Got caught in the air and Gillespie, he knew he was going to take the contact. Wow. Well, how about that expression on Gillespie's face? He knows, I mean, he's going for it. He doesn't care whether he takes the contact or not, but he was trying to brace himself. Moore down low. With the hesitation on Ryan Allen. Rebound inside, snatched by Samuels. Moore, three, no. Rebound off of Painter's hands and finally off the hands of Samuel and out of bounds and off of the Wildcats. Now Villanova, they spread the court and they create situations where their guards can post up and more miss that time, but we will see that a lot this afternoon. Delaware's got to figure out how to defend that. Delaware in blue, Villanova in white, and here they go. Ryan Allen works on Gillespie. Nelson. Anderson and Painter has got a feeling of few jitters here against his old team. Shot clock at five, a three. Guard, Kevin Anderson. How about the sidestep there by Anderson? He's made two great moves here in this first half. First the drive and then that sidestep three here. Five quick points for Anderson. Here's Gillespie who won the tournament player award. Peels off a screen of Samuels and back on him and is Anderson and here comes Samuels. He works on Painter with a cut and a layup for two. And, and Reggie, it's the same thing. You see that everybody spreads out right. and they create a lane where in this case it's Samuels can drive to the basket and he's quicker than Painter and so they take advantage of all that room. Open shot here, taken by Davis. He's a freshman from Newark, Delaware, and he was the CAA Rookie of the Year. And look, if Delaware is looking to pull the upset, this is the recipe they're gonna have to use. Yep. 25 to 30 seconds on the shot clock and find ways to score a basket at the end of it. It's Slater taking it in, out of the reach there at Gillespie. 
Villanova, the Big East Tournament champions. Outside, faking a three. Samuels plowing his way in. Works on his former teammate, Painter. That's back-to-back -back moves by Samuels going right at Painter. And you're right. If there is one guy that knows the culture, the mindset of Jay right. Wright and Villanova, it's going to be Dylan Painter. And they are making the point to go right at him. They go into Painter, who is held that time by Brandon Slater, who picks up a final. A foul called. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. Davis will check out. And here comes Nelson, the transfer from George Washington to Kevin Anderson, a floater on the fly. Wow. This kid is he's going into his bag, Dan. This is a guy who is capable of lighting oh, oh. up for 25, 30 points. And that's one of the things Jay Wright was concerned about, that Delaware has a lot of guys who can score. And you have to, you have to make sure nobody goes off on you. This nice shot right there by Gillespie, controlled by the Blue Hens. Allen trailing. It's a three. With the Villanova rebound and collected by Gillespie. Archie Diakono has come in too now to join the Villanova five. Positioning for the shot, Daniels. Rebound by Painter. And here comes Anderson. Villanova is getting some open shots. Painter, you know, isn't able to jump out on that shooter on the screen. Anderson. Two-time All-State player from the state of Pennsylvania. Nelson will stop on a 17-footer, putting on the brakes, and picked up by Dixon inside. That's pretty good look there by Jameer. Delaware doing a great job, for the most part, getting back on defense. Yes. Archie Diakono takes it in and tried to scoop it home and picked up by Nelson. He's off to the races. And this is the time when you've got to run if you're Delaware. Painter flying his way for two. We well, got to read the scouting report. He, he wants to get to that left end, obviously. And if you're Dixon, you got to force him back right. Biggest lead here for the Blue Hens. This is Justin Moore, Jr. Double teamed inside and foul. He was taking it in with 11.08 to go, but Anderson right here with a nice move. Getting a two on the fly. And then Painter against his old team. Delaware has not turned it over in nine minutes. They've hit half their shots. And moments ago, Dana caught up with the coach of Villanova, Jay Wright. Coach, this team has been patient. They've been able to score against you. What can you do to disrupt them in that sense? They're a good team. They're a really good offensive team. Um, they're good in ISOs. we got to guard the ball better. we got to guard the ball one-on-one -on -one a lot better. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Wildcats under right, making 10 consecutive trips to the NCAA tournament. And Reggie, that's the fifth longest active streak in the country. It's interesting how Coach Wright talking about the point of contact starting you know, with the point guards and with Jamil Nelson Jr. being able to get wherever he wants, Anderson getting in the paint, being able to score. Kind of got to stop the head of the snake here. Villanova in white will inbound Slater. It's Samuels off to Moore. Got around Allen and puts up a long shot. It's a two and it's out of bounds. I think Villanova, I said they had to make threes and they do, but I think they have to establish the three by going inside first. You know, I think they're settling a little bit at the moment. They make the the Nine threes a game. That's 25th in the country in terms of three-point Villanova shooting. Yeah, more dribble penetration, right? Collapsing the defense. Yep. They're a very unselfish team. Here's their first turnover here by Delaware. Andrew Carr lost it. Colin Gillespie the other way. Meets the defense of Carr. Man, great defense here by Carr against Gillespie. Back out to Gillespie. Shot clock at 12. A deceptive move and a drive here by Slater. Got it! Well, there's the dribble penetration. Yep, that's I'm exactly about, right? what you're talking about, Reggie. Not settling. 
but a lot of pump fakes. This team is the king of pump fake <laughs> Villanova and jump stops, and they did a great job. Look at that pump fake. Guy flies by. Three blue hands with the contact with the potential and one for Slater. This is the senior Brandon Slater, first year as a full-time starter. Nine points, leads the team in steals for a Villanova team that started three and two, but since they've gone 23 and five, only losses have been to early on UCLA and Purdue. They caught their breath, they finished strong, and they won the Big East tournament. But they played a heck of a sketch. Boy, they <laughs> did. My goodness, it was rugged. Yeah, but that prepares you for this. Davis, a freshman. Not scared of the moment. Nope. Now, this kid is really good. When Painter went down with an injury, Davis, who hadn't played very much, stepped right in, and he has suddenly become the guy the offense actually goes through. That's how you earn your minutes as a freshman, right? Three, and it's off that time by Caleb Daniel. Carr with the foul. And, Dixon and hitting the deck. This is how you earn trust with your head coach. He you does know. a real nice job with the dribble and then uses his body to create just enough space. And that's a shot that he makes very consistently. Carr just picked up his second personal foul. Painter is back on the floor. Anderson is in with Ryan Allen. They rest Jameer Nelson here. And the Wildcats will inbound. Big E's record of 16 and 4. The two seed and number six in college basketball by the AP coming into the tournament. Daniels on top for Dixon. And now to Slater with four to fire. He's doubled. Dixon outside. It's a three. And a rebound inside. Whoa. Villanova takes it. That's a three. Guard put up and through by Gillespie. How about that rebound? And I mean, you just can't give those guys second chances. Villanova, they're not a great offensive rebounding team, but when they do get them, that's where they hurt you with those second shot opportunities and threes. Asamoah. It's Painter working on Dixon. Ramming his way inside with a fake and a fire. Once again, he got to his left. Jay Wright I, is complaining. I think he felt like Painter muscled his way to the basket, banged Dixon down under. What a Painter versus Dixon and banging. I think that's the way the referee <laughs> saw it. <laughs> it's the shot for Dixon who gets it to go. Now that's banging right there <laughs> by Dixon. Well, now that's some power. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is. So here's Painter, and I think that's what this is what Jay Wright is complaining about. There's a couple of, you know, shoulders there to the chest. Is that a displacement? Well, the referees didn't think so, and this is just a basket. <laughs> this is a powerful guy. Dixon at 6'8", 255. And that's being generous. I mean, look at the legs. This dude has some tree trunks. Abington High School, Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. 6'8", sophomore. And he completes the three-point play. He averages. Eric Dixon does about nine a game. First year full-time starter. He'll take a breather right now. And Kevin, you do not want to put the Villanova Wildcats on the free throw line. No, they are terrific. Number one in college basketball. Dan, you're right. Number one, 82 percent. Four players for Villanova. 80 percent or better from the line. It's Ryan Allen off to Painter. Kevin Anderson. Allen, this is a three. And picked up by Slater inside for the Wildcats. Highly contested three there by Allen. Jay Wright told Dana they had to do a better job guarding the ball, and I think since that first time out, Kevin, they have. Justin Moore, second team all big east. Will take it, looking for a sliver of room. Defended by Asamoah. That is a three. Caleb Daniels. Put the guard down inside, back him in, draw the defense. Reggie, it's not exactly the slash to the basket you were talking about, but it draws the defense. You kick it out for a wide open three. Anderson. Approaching seven to play in the first half. Jabbing Allen. 
cutting, driving, scoring inside. Ryan Allen. What a magician with the basketball right there by Allen. Villanova's led by as many as two. Delaware's lead high as seven. More on top. Averts the defense with a move, but a miss. Rebound inside by Davis. Back and forth. It's a one-point game. Pretty shot right there by Davis. And then Dixon answers at the other end for Villanova. Delaware by a point. Moments ago, Dana caught up with the head coach of the Blue Hens, Martin Inglesby. Coach Villanova coming back in this one, but what can you say on the positive end about what you've seen from your guys early in this game? Well, I think we've done a really good job battling on the defensive end, and I think they've only made one three-point shot, so we've done a good job guarding the three-point line, and controlling tempo on the offensive end was a big key for us, so we kind of have the game right, right where we want it. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Dan, one of his luxuries off the bench, he brings two former all-conference players, including Dylan Painter right there. Well, Painter has a height advantage over everybody from Villanova, and he's used that effectively because you don't want to go down and double-team him because he can kick it out. They have so many good three-point shooters on the outside, and he was on his way, Kevin Painter was, to maybe a player of the year in the CAA before he got hurt and ha in the middle of the season. The other guy that was an all-conference player, Ryan Allen, rookie of the year. They go and what a rejection! Erasing it was Jermaine Samuels. Wow. Climbing the ladder and knocking it away. And Villanova now triggered with six and a half to play in the half. And they bring it in. Andron off the bench and Brian's first shot, no. And thrown away and picked up by Anderson. Samuels is everywhere to start this ball game. It's Ryan Allen into the double team painter. Oh, oh what, what a pass. pass. That was. He slips it off to Davis, oh. who puts oh. up an acrobatic two. I thought he was looking at Nelson Jr. by us. Yeah, I, that, he was wide open, but Davis was better. What a great find with that pass. How did he see that? Moore, second team all Big East. On top for the conference player of the year, Gillespie Samuels, free to fire, now drives and Jack hammers it in. Why not? Woo! He's done everything else here in this first half for Villanova. Wow. But that, that, that is a mismatch that Villanova has exploited. They spread the court and allow Samuels to drive by Painter from the top of the key. Painter can't stay with him out there. But why is Painter going for the pump fake on Samuels? Stay down. Oh, those elbows were high. Yeah, I bet the foul is going to be called on Samuels. It is. Now, AT&T 5G takes us above the rim. One of the best plays so far in this game, and it's hammered home by Jermaine Samuels. Well, as impressive as this was by Samuels, that block at the other end was spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, and that foul was called because Samuels was in the cylinder of the offensive player. Over Dixon, it's Nelson. Slater the rebound. In other words, he got too close to him. Nelson is 0 of 5. Top player on Delaware's team. Gillespie looking for a Dixon screen and trying to knock out Anderson, who fights right through it. Claws right through it. Oh, look at the playing twister again. It's loose on the floor. Anderson gobbles it up. Nelson the other way. Oh, rejected. Slater parachutes in. Slater came out of the rafters. Between Slater and Samuels, there is a block party going on down here at the Villanova Inn. Well, Slater, talk about not he, giving he up on the play. The Do not give up on the play. Wow, there's a lot of arm there as well. Oh, yeah, that's a foul. But in real time, it looked good. But it's a foul. It felt good. <laughs> <laughs> Anderson, Anderson on top. <laughs> As the defense of Daniels in front of him trying to explode on that baseline is Allen. Shot clock at six. Nelson. Allen, this is a three. Look at him fighting on the floor. Bodies all over the floor. Nelson was sliding for it. Slater was coming after him. And I believe Slater picked up a foul, jumping on the back Absolutely. of Nelson Jr. 
Now, Nelson, Kevin, he's allowed to slide along the floor. A lot of people think that's a traveling violation. It's not. You, I mean, if you're sliding naturally, you're allowed to do that, but you're not allowed to jump on top. Boy, this is quite the scramble. Well, you got to let that go as well. These two guys hustling for the ball. That's some play by Davis to kick the ball out there while he was laying on the ground. Down Villanova, shot clock at 20. Blue ends the Colonial. Oh, it's off of uh, Delaware. Off of Delaware, and Villanova will inbound. Kevin, actually, the officials ruled that the ball didn't touch anybody, mm. which is why they're taking it out in the same spot. Colin Gillespie. It's off to Justin Moore. In front of him is Allen. Samuels flips it down low to Dixon. Tight quarters. Daniels. It's Gillespie. A three. Sticks it. Again, and what, what freedom? The king of the pump fake. Little shoulder pump fake. The defender goes flying. He reestablishes his feet and drains his second three of this first half. And that's what happens when you double team the post. Seventh leading score in the conference with a Jameer Nelson. It's Painter, free to fire. Mm. Toughest shot in basketball yeah. to make. It's right yeah. there. Yeah. With no one around. Yes. Yep, yep. But he was looking around because he was sure somebody was coming. <laughs> he said, well, where are the guys I used to play with? They, they defend this position. <laughs> it's more Dixon. A series of moves and a jiggle for two. And a timeout taken with 3.10 to go. Colin Gillespie, one of the best three-point shooters in the country, knocks in this tray. Villanova by four. Back in Pittsburgh, two-seed Nova up by four. Take a look at our reset. 13-4 Villanova run here, Reg, and Villanova started 5-17. But they have caught fire, hitting six of their last eight. Well, again, balanced offense and moving the basketball. They've been very patient. I think early on in the first couple minutes, too many quick shots for Jay Wright and this Wildcat team. To get here, the Blue Hens defeated two top seeds in the CAA tournament on consecutive days. To win that, get the automatic berth car, shuffling and scoring inside as he squirted through a couple defenders. Kevin, you just saw on our game summary that Delaware is scoring the ball close to the basket. That's now 18 points in the paint for the Blue Wings. It's more probing on top and defended by Asamoa. Ian Samuels and a bump right there, and he got that from Davis. He'll pick up the foul and a timeout taken two and a half in the half on CBS. Here in Pittsburgh, Nova by two. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, best Coke ever. Who is deciding these things? Maybe we just have to try it and see. Debate the goatness. Two-point lead. There's a look at Martin Inglesby, who played in one NCAA tournament as a point guard, a starter at Notre Dame. Three-year starter for the Irish, then went on to be an assistant coach there. Ball is knocked away. Inside, nice blue hand defense. Asamoa, three. Rebound. Moore. As soon as that left his hand, he knew that that, that shot was off, trying to track it down. Samuels puts in a shot from distance. What a game for Samuels. Nine, Nine points. points. Four of six from the field, block shots, three rebounds. Doing a little bit of everything. Nelson. Davis has got bodies all over him. Anderson. This is a three. With a leaping rebound inside by Daniels. Davis was trying to get Anderson to clear out so Davis could make a move. Goes Gillespie surveying and finds Dixon. Lobbing inside Samuels' hot hand. Got the pass off Gillespie. Daniels a three. And the time bounce. Back to back threes here by Villanova, stretching this lead to eight. 
13 to Nova Run. Well, Samuels makes a great pass to get it out of trouble, and then Gillespie dribbles to the baseline, pulls the defense along with him, so Daniels has all day to shoot the ball. Nelson with a triple. They're pressing now. Yeah, yes, he is. Now that they're down. 0 with 7, Nelson. And we saw this in our first game with Lucas Williamson of Loyola Chicago, their best player. Justin Moore tries to drive, ramrods his way in. And gets another two. They're scoring at will, slicing him up. Biggest lead of 10. And these guards can get to the basket and score. They're big and they're strong. 15 to Nova Run. A miss right there, taken by Jair Davis. And, and the pace has suddenly picked up a little bit. Delaware was moving the ball, moving guys side to side, getting what they wanted because they could get the defense out of position. but. Now, one pass and a shot, that's not working. Timeout, Villanova. With 18 seconds to go, Cats will have it. They have built their lead to 10 on a 15-2 run. Fans are back, bands are back. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Scores, highlights, latest NCAA tournament news all coming up on AT&T at the half from our CBS studios in New York. So Villanova guys has made their last six shots. They've made 9 and 11 and that's the difference in the game is initially Delaware was up by seven. Kevin and I think that Villanova has been able to play a little bit more comfortably on offense because Delaware is hurrying things up when they're on offense and they're missing shots and that allows Villanova to get out and go. It's more. A stutter step and the drive and he lost the ball and Painter got it, and he gets it out to Nelson, who finds Anderson, who goes by Samuels, and can't get the shot at the buzzer. So we saw a 17-point turnaround in that first half. Down by seven, Villanova leads by 10, and they thrive on a 15-2 run to Dano. Kevin, thank you, Coach. You guys finish on a 15-2 run. What was the difference? We started guarding them a little bit better. Is that all you said to them? Guard better. <laughs> it was it, it was about that simple. And um, th they're a very good defensive team, too. They're underrated defensively. Kind of got a little bit of feel what they were doing. They'll make adjustments. It's, 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 we got to play a good 20 minutes. You also told us yesterday you wanted to see a balanced offensive attack, and that's what you got later yeah. in the second half. How do you keep that going in the second half? Yeah, we got a good inside game going. You know, Colin really hasn't gotten it going yet. and. Uh, we really haven't gotten many threes, but uh, our inside game, Eric Dixon, has been really effective. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Jay Wright has won two national championships. He has won overall 683 games. Like we began our telecast, a Hall of Famer last fall. That's the end of the first half. It's a 10-point Nova lead. We'll take you to AT&T at the half after these messages. You're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship on CBS Sports. We're back in Pittsburgh. Let's take a look at AT&T 5G first half stats. And Dan, right off the bat, plus 12 points from three for Villanova. Well, we talked about the fact before the game, Kevin, that Villanova, we thought, needed to make some threes. And you heard Jay Wright tell Dana at halftime that they hadn't made very many threes. Well, they made five in a <laughs> row. <laughs> and I think it's the three-point basket that has really gotten Villanova off and rolling here. And as you say, Delaware's only one for 10. That, you, you can't overcome that. No. And a 15-2 run for Villanova. They've got momentum. And talking about momentum, Jameer Nelson is going to have to find some momentum for the Blue Hens. This is a guy that's been in double figures 12 of his last 13 ball games. Give the credit to the Wildcat defense of really crowding Jameer Nelson and frustrating him. 14 points a game. They're going to need a little bit more aggression for him at the offensive end. Dana, what do you have? Uh, guys, I asked Coach specifically about that, and he said, Jameer, like the rest of the team, just pushing it too much, too many quick shots. He wants to see them doing a better job on that, being patient like they were early in the ball game. As for defense, it's what you guys said. You knew this was coming. They got to guard against the three better. And now they just turned it over. Dana, thank you very much. Yeah, the three-point shot, only one made by Delaware and five made by Nova. We start the second half. It's the player of the year, Gillespie. Ice ball rotation ending up to Slater. 
Dixon. Moore, free to fire from three. On a cue, six in a row six now, right? Six in a row now. Make nine a game. Nelson and Carr. Oh, he goes inside and tried to bulldoze his way and could not find any room to fire. And Moore and the offense and over the other way in a hurry. Gillespie, he'll uncork a three. Dixon lassoes the ball. Outside, a three up and off by Moore. And they go the other way with Davis. And De Delaware's got to move the ball from side to side. They can't get involved in one-on-one -on -one play. Got to get everybody involved, and Davis, I think, has to touch it. They're looking down low, and Davis went through his hands. Bad pass, and Villanova will take it the other way, and they're led here by Justin Moore out of Fort Washington, Maryland. Played it to Matha High School. Here's Gillespie. Wow, too easy. Whoa. And nice pin there. Down low by Dixon to allow Gillespie to get all the way to the cup. We're going to get a timeout. 22 run. 20 to 2 run by Villanova. They are hitting in every gear right now. The two seat on top of the 15 on CBS. Back in Pittsburgh, who envisioned greatness today? Tune in to Inside March Madness, presented by Buick, and find out. Well, speaking of greatness, Jameer Nelson Sr. College Player of the Year back in 2004 for St. Joe's. He is the father of Jameer Nelson Jr. He's on this team, the transfer from George Washington, and dad and son look alike, and they play alike. Yeah, very similar games. I think Jameer was a little bit more craftier with the basketball than Junior. Three-point shot. And out of bounds it goes, and Danny, here comes Villanova again. That's right. Hey, guys, you were talking about Jameer Nelson Sr. I had a chance to talk to him earlier this week. He's so proud of his son because he's become his own man, his own player. He said he didn't want to be pressure for him. He wants to be an outlet. But the one piece of advice that he gave him was just to stay in the moment. Do what you can do to help the team win. Maybe in this moment, that can help him right now. They need a lot of help. Dixon three. When your big man is yes. knocking him down from out there, you know it is your day. Put so much pressure. We know what he does down low because of that body size. But when he can stretch the big out to the three-point line, this Villanova team goes to a different level. Nice contorted move inside by Carr. But he averted the defense and got in. Kevin Dixon is not a high volume three point shooter, but he's shooting 48% from out there. So you give him that much time. Dixon a screen. More. No drive on Allen. My goodness. Part of the problem for Delaware, they get out there and try to guard the three, and as a result, that gives Villanova a chance to slip by and get to the basket. And again, Moore is big and strong, and he's just hard to stop once he gets going. 6'4", 210 pounds, yeah. he gets that body close to the basket. He's tough to stop. Allen picks up the foul. He straight told Allen he needs to get into the weight room. <laughs> there was no way he was going to stop him on that drive. Wonder if Jay Wright's more pleased with their three-point shooting than he was. <laughs> Time. Anderson to Davis and out to Carr. A three. Andrew Carr, starter all season, part of the all-tournament team, all state. He's from Westchester, Pennsylvania. And now the Blue Hands in a two-three zone. They've been playing man most of this ball game. Oh, yeah. the cutting Daniels and Gillespie threads it in for two. That's the problem. When you're not used to playing zone, there's those gaps. Oh, Nelson dodging defenders and takes it in. That shows you his quick acceleration. What a pass here by Gillespie. Beautiful finish here. Great job getting into the interior of the zone and 
whether you're going into the interior of a zone or man to man, you get in there, it causes the defense to step toward the ball and that allows guys cutting from the corners to be wide open against the zone. We've talked about sixth year coach Martin Inglesby of the Blue Hens, his dad, Tom, was a standout guard for Villanova from 70 to 73, led Villanova on that uh, national championship game appearance. And his brother Brad is a writer and producer for HBO's Mayor of Easttown. Wawa! Oh, oh, oh. Moore puts it up and through. Wawa has a place in Pennsylvania. Just in case <laughs> I love the mayor. I did too. That, that was great. I'm the one that told, told you about it. No, I like it. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> I'm the one that told you and Ann to watch it. Oh, 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 cutting Nelson. Good feet from on top and Anderson. Okay, five quick points by Jameer Nelson Jr. We talked about 0 of 7 at halftime. Goose egg. Now starting to get a little bit of a spring in his step now. Got to get some stops down here. Now quickly, Reg, you see they're back to the man-to-man. -man. Brian Antoine is in and on top. They got Daniels who will dance and get the Dixon screen. Oh, look at him carve his way. Diligently working inside. Dixon dropped it. Shot clock at four. Outside, three more, oh, it's a two, he was on the line, it's a two. And Villanova up 54 to 35. Kevin, they called it a 53. two, but the referee signaled they're All gonna right. review that at the next media timeout. Boy, five quick points for Moore, who has 16 today. Carr will slice down the middle. Hit the deck, foul called as he took it right into the teeth of that Villanova D. And I think it went on Brandon Slater. Let's see. I see. I, I called it. We called it a three. Oh, it's a. It is a three. It is a three. And it was authored by Justin Moore of Villanova. Want to remind you to watch CBS Sports HQ for the best coverage of the Big Dance. Catch tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps, and much, much more on the free 24/7 Sports News Network. Download the CBS Sports app to watch today. Well, the tournament summary, four games have gone into overtime, and I can accurately tell you, none here. <laughs> <laughs> Villanova, Dan, you were talking about the three-point shooting of the Wildcats. Nine of 11 from three, the last 14 and a half minutes of game time. They have done a great job moving the ball, Kevin, and they have really ramped up their defense from the start of the game and it's a whole lot easier to rebound the ball and get down and get your offense going when the other team is backpedaling. If they're making baskets they can get back and set the defense. Here's Andrew Carr whose dad played at Delaware. Well I hope Coach Wright is happy now as you mentioned Dan. They're at 9 of 16 from 3. They average 9 a game and we've got just a shade under 15 minutes left. Ryan Antoine, little full court pressure. Here's Gillespie. As Nova evades the defense and sets up with Slater on top, defended by Carr. Oh, the crossover. The car stuck with him. Gillespie, rise and fire. Kevin, they are so good at that pump fake and then relocating on the dribble, just going one dribble to the side. They all do it. Ryan Allen on top to Anderson on the wing. It's a three launch to miss that time by Asamoah. Nelson a three, short. He continues to struggle, two of 11 overall. Well, one of the things I think you have to be able to do to beat Villanova is you, can't, you don't necessarily need to match them three for three, but you need to make some three-point baskets, and Delaware just hadn't been able to do it. Lesby. Oh my. That's a three from way outside, and it's a rebound retrieved by Anderson. That was a four. <laughs> that was a four. That was from four point territory. Oh, still. Nice hustle by Daniels. It's off to Gillespie. And even with a sizable 20 point lead, their biggest this afternoon, they continue to dive for loose balls. And I like what they're doing right here. Patience here. Not getting anything rushed. Get into your offense. Take some time off the clock and find a quality shot. Antoine. Daniels. 
Oh, a cutting move, but he lost it in mid-flight. Samuels. Gillespie back to Slater. New shot clock. Antoine, three. Rebound volleyballed out there by Samuels and picked up on the play by Allen. Delaware in blue with the move by Allen and a foul on the perimeter, and it's called there on Brian Antoine. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Best Coke ever. Who's deciding these things? Maybe we just have to try and see. Debate the goatness. Debate the goatness, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> I would think they would just put you in charge of that, Kevin. <laughs> I'm sitting next to a couple goats. <laughs> Old goats. <laughs> One yes, old goat. We are old. <laughs> we are old. That's for sure. Back in the game, Dylan Painter. Dixon is on him. Plenty of time with which to work. Jair Davis on the Easy. doorstep. Saw a little bit of that in the first half from Davis. Davis began at Providence, redshirted, and then transferred. That's Davis' so the Bruins, first field goal in that something out. Yeah. yeah, wow. He's averaging nine. He was the conference rookie of the year, as we mentioned earlier. So he's had a terrific season. Screened by Dixon. The more wanted to go back inside, and Painter deflects the ball. Okay, let's see if they can create some offense now from that defense. Asamoa. Ryan Allen. 1,800 points in his career. Find Dixon. Weaving his offensive Nelson foul. That is an offensive foul on Jameer Nelson Jr. Nice job there by Gillespie. Moving his feet, taking the, the contact in his chest. Villanova, the two seed, number six nationally, heading to the tournament. Hitting in every possible way, inside, outside, for the size of a lead. Back in Pittsburgh now, thrilling drives presented by Nissan. Boy, some of these plays for Villanova have been absolutely special. Slater with the chase down block. Here's the hustle play. And how about Samuels out of nowhere, not giving up the play defensively. Villanova has been just about everywhere. They've done everything they're supposed to do in a game like this. The second place team in the Big East regular season. Eight wins against AP Top 25 teams. That's the most of any team in the country with that kind of winning percentage against the AP Top 25. Kevin, that's a good point that you make about doing everything they need to do in a game like this. They have given Delaware no hope. The Blue Hens have not been able to really feel confident that, okay, we can really do this. Justin Moore curling around and got it to go. It'll drop. It'll count. And, and you're absolutely right. Curling. This young man is putting on a, sh a weight room show here in the paint. He is going absolutely at everyone who's trying to guard him. And, Reggie, it's really interesting. They don't necessarily, to get a post-up game going, they don't have to post up their center or their forward. They post up their guards, and their guards don't stand down in there waiting to receive the ball. They dribble down there, and as you say, they spin around, and it's really impressive to watch. Moore and Dixon have just been absolutely special in terms of just their physicality. Davis to Nelson. They'll drive on Gillespie, but nothing doing. Nowhere to go there. Davis will take it into two defenders for Villanova. And a foul call. Well, tune into the House of Highlights, Creator League, featuring viral creators Cash Nasty, Cam Wilder, <laughs> Devontae Friga, and more competing every week in one-on-one -on -one basketball games. Watch live on House of Highlights. YouTube as they compete for a chance to play in the House of Highlights Creator League Championship game on April 3rd. And I say hash nasty with a bit of a giggle. That was Reggie's high school name. <laughs> okay. was hash nasty. Yes. How did you know? Because you've told me okay. a couple times, don't play like you don't know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> <laughs> Davis, you got me. Davis you got me. At the line. <laughs> By the way, as most of you know, a president of the U.S., Joe Biden, his alma mater, Delaware, so I'm sure he's keeping track of this, although he's got a lot of things more important, certainly, more. Samuel 
put up a three, and he can't get it with a rebound collected there by Anderson. Let's see if Delaware can get a little bit of a run going here. Ryan Allen finds Anderson for the triple. Rebounding advantage to Villanova. That should be pretty clear so far as Gillespie, who led the Big East in three-point shots made, gets it down low, and it's caught by the twirl and Moore. Archie Diacono is in. Moore in the corner. Screen by Dixon. He'll try to penetrate and pierce, and waiting for him is the defensive call. And then a foul on Nelson, who collapsed. Well, he didn't collapse. He was thrown to the floor there by Dixon. I'm they not got... sure he was thrown to the floor, Reggie, as much as he just bounced off. Oh, look at that. He was thrown to the floor <laughs> right there by Dixon. <laughs> well, you take your life in your hands yeah. when you get down there with Dixon. Slater will inbound. Approaching the halfway point of the second half and working his way down low, Daniels. Outside Slater. It's over to Moore who gets a screen and the switch on defense. Now Anderson on him. And Moore across the lane, knocked away by Anderson. Well, finally someone gets a little bit yeah. of revenge against Moore and it's the taller Anderson. Now Anderson is a big guard and that was a really nice play. Moore had slithered by him. It's a three. Jermaine Samuels hits another. He's got 12. And five different Wildcats have knocked down threes today. 11 of 21 as a team. Samuels with two threes. Carr is generating on top, and that's a turnover for the Blue Hens. There's only one second left on the shot clock, or two seconds when that ball's inbounds. He just catches it and lets it go. For really impressive. Wildcats, five straight wins coming in for Jay Wright's team. They've won 10 of 11 and 19 of 22. There's Moore posting up again. Moore against Nelson. It's Daniels, Archidiacono. And now Slater, and the shot clock down to seven. He'll dance on Anderson. He'll try to carve inside. It's Anderson the other way. Allen on the wing. It's a three over Samuels. Nice rebound by Davis. Trying to get free. Slater is there. That's a good, tough play by Davis. I mean, Daniels dropped down and actually got a hand on the ball, but Davis didn't panic. He was able to maintain his poise and his balance. Really nice play. Davis has got 13. He's at 6 of 8. Good-looking player. Like we said before, he began at Providence. Red shirt. He didn't play. Transfers. Yeah, that's an offensive foul. That's called on Moore. Nice job anticipation there by Nelson Jr. <laughs> Jay Wright is really upset about this call, but uh, Jameer Nelson Jr. got himself in great position. And almost always, Reggie, when you see that shoulder make contact with the torso and it's outside the restricted area, it's going to be an offensive foul. And a taller guy versus a smaller guy as well. Last season, this uh, Wildcat team of Villanova went 18 and 7, lost in the Sweet 16 to Baylor as a number five seed, coming into this year, number two seed. Blue Hens with it. Kevin Anderson. Down low, they find Allen. Anderson picked up defensively by Daniels. And inside, they get caught. Carr has got 13, and he's gone 5 of 5. Well, they forced a couple of turnovers recently, and that's what you got to do. Force some turnovers and Don't convert. Gillespie with a 3. Boy, you talk about a lethal stroke. Colin Gillespie is on autopilot right now for Villanova. Four threes. He just seems to know when to take that shot in transition, when to move the ball around. Davis. With a foul. So Colin Gillespie, the decorated Grad student for Villanova. 
Popping three, she's hit four. Villanova on top. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, streaming device, whatever you choose on NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code now to download. With a look at our game summary, and plus 33 points from three for Villanova. And three-point shooting, and that really has been pretty much the ball. Yep, that's the story. Yep. And we knew, as you highlighted coming into this, Dan Villanova's three-point shooting. Jerry Wright picked up a technical foul as we were headed to that timeout. As the teams were going to the benches, Jay Wright said something to the officials. You know, it's it's hard to understand what he might be unhappy about at the moment. I think he said, I like the signing of Trubisky by the Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> and, and since he's from Philadelphia, that got him a technical? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. He's got Jalen Hurts in Philly. Here's Davis at the free throw line. He was the Delaware High School Player of the Year, first team All-State, four straight years. Think of that. Four wow. straight years. He was a first team All-State high school basketball selection. And here he stands. Rivals had him number 38 in the country. He went to Providence. Sat out. Here he is at the free throw line. As the CAA Rookie of the Year, most outstanding player in the tournament. And the tournament win gets them into the NCAA tournament. And he has had some kind of day. He's got a six of eight game going from the field, three of four from the line, 15 points and six rebounds. Full court again. But well, you gotta put some pressure on now. Ninth consecutive season, Villanova has won either a regular season or the conference tournament championship. Hard driving Daniels inside. Shot clock is down to five. Defended by Nelson. Who poked it away? The clock is at two. He's got a fire. Oh, vacuumed in underneath and picked up by Samuels. Off to Gillespie, races with Carr. Outside. Oh, look at Moore with a spoon feed to Dixon. You played such great defense initially for the Blue Hands. Discouraging, but, huh? Yes, and you give up an offensive rebound. It's just difficult to come back from that. Here's Dave. Oh, what a, what a move. Into a move with every part of his body. As he cleaves his way for two. 17 now for Davis on seven of nine shooting, six rebounds. Well, he's he's done a really nice job, but he just he hasn't handled the ball enough, Reggie. Three put up by Daniels. Rebound Andrew Carr. He has played well last six or eight weeks for this Delaware program. Last couple of possessions, Delaware's done a better job moving the ball. Allen drives that baseline. Boy, he was quick. He was quick, Kevin, but you get the ball side to side. That moves the defense around, and it gives you a better opportunity to drive to the basket. Justin Moore picking and poking his way, and then accelerates, and Daniels for three. It continues to rain here in Pittsburgh for the Villanova Wildcats. 13 of 24 from distance. Plus 33 points from three-point territory. Nelson will stick it. Timeout taken, Delaware. 5.23 to go. Two-seed Villanova in control over the 15-seed Blue Hens. Want to stay up to date? Just tell Siri, show me the college basketball schedule. A lot of that would involve Delaware because the Delaware women's basketball team made the NCAA tournament, as did the men's, clearly. They won their CAA tournament. The women of Delaware did against Maryland. Today they're playing. 
And they are one of 24 programs, men's and women, that are sending two teams to the tournament. So congratulations. That's awesome. A lot of pride on the oh, yes. Delaware campus for the Blue Hens. And playing their neighbor, Dan, playing a school like Villanova where they are in the shadow of but compete clearly against them in recruiting, getting kids out of the Philadelphia area. And a three by Gillespie. Nice rebound inside, taken by Samuels. Oh, off of Villanova. And that's a break for Delaware. Kevin, one of the things we're seeing here is that even when Delaware gets a, that initial stop, they're having a hard time getting the defensive rebound. Jay Wright told us yesterday, Kevin, that he actually watches Delaware on TV a lot because you know, they're close by and he's interested. And Painter is on the team, a kid that he recruited. Painter has not played in the second half. Well, remember, he had the ankle problem. He did. Gillespie. And outside, it goes for more. Daniels. And barging ahead is Samuels. Finds himself underneath. Fouled as he fired. Shot clock running down. That's the last thing you want to do is bail out the offense. Look, Samuels was going to take a very difficult shot here, but now you're sending him to the free throw line. Samuels Reg at the strike. R Reggie, that was a funny play. It looked like Gillespie passed up a layout to pass the ball out for a three. Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette reprise their iconic roles in the return of the legendary horror franchise Scream. Rated R. The new movie is now streaming exclusively on Paramount Plus. Try it for free. Well, if you're like Reggie, <laughs> you just in his wife, uh, they watched 1883. Oh, how great was we that? Love that on oh, Paramount Plus. Yes, we did. Allen looking down low for Carr. Another turnover. Well, it was the right idea. You just it can't was. throw that 80 mile an hour fastball. The Blue Hens making their sixth NCAA tournament appearance. They have yet to win in the big dance. Ninth 20 win season. They did win their sixth conference tournament title, second in the CAA. They've been a part of the North Atlantic, the American. Oh, good hustle. That was, that was great hustle by Nelson. Carr. Nelson. A three. And another miss, and Nelson has gone three of 13, shooting overall. Hustling on the biggest stage in college basketball with a timeout in Pittsburgh. Villanova has led by as many as 23, plus 30 points, shooting threes this afternoon over 15 C Delaware. Kevin, Villanova has five guys in double figures. And it's really impressive watching them play on the offensive end. The ball moves, the players moves, move. The ball doesn't stick in anybody's hands, Reggie. It's really difficult to defend. And to me, that's why they're very difficult to game plan because you can't hone in on just one or two guys. And they've got three, four, five guys that can give you numbers. How about the X Factor Jay Wright told us yesterday? This man Moore, who. Uh oh. He didn't get it across sure in time. Did. Did sure not did. get the ball across the midcourt stripe in time. Nice defense. No give up in the blue hands. You can't leave Dixon on an island right there trying to bring up the basketball. You know, I mentioned that our president, Joe Biden, is a graduate of Delaware, as is Chris Christie, former governor of New Jersey, and a couple of NFL quarterbacks. Won an MVP, Rich Gannon. Also, Joe Flacco, that's a three-point shot hoisted by Anderson. And anticipating that Delaware is going to try to pressure, Jay Wright has taken Dixon out of the game. Gillespie on Carr will dance with him. It's Daniels. Brian Antoine, baseline drive down low, Samuels. And a foul. March Madness continues tonight with eight more first-round games across 
CBS, TBS, TNT, and True TV. You decide the game you want to watch. Here we'll have Chattanooga against Illinois. Then we get Houston and UAB. A lot of eyes going to be on that Cal State Fullerton and obviously Duke. Duke with this yep. being Coach K's last run at it. Davis backs in the contest and checking out Ebby Asimov. With Jermaine Samuels at the line. Final four team and 39, 71, and 85. 09. And then two straight championships for Jay Wright, one in 16, one in 18. And the metrics are good for Villanova, too. They have an eight ranking in the net metrics. Eighth in offense, 28th in defense. And they hang their hat on all the things they can do and the versatility they can show and the multiple switching they can make. Out of bounds, Nelson lost his balance on a high pass. Kevin, if they have an Achilles heel, it might be their depth. They tend not to foul very much. We've seen that in this game, but if somebody gets hurt or they get in foul trouble, they're just not a very deep team. They did lose. What a There's a great tuck inside. Antoine, but a beautiful feed on top. Samuels will get the assist, and it was a beauty. What hasn't Samuels done today? Right, he's done everything. You're right, Dan. Painter is in, first time. Second half, with two and a half to go. Samuels will pick up the foul. And this is, <laughs> again, it's what we were saying, Kevin. They move the basketball, they move without the basketball, and Antoine, he just circled around him and nobody picked him up. Well, they're going to empty the bench and bring in some other players to get a chance to say that they played in the NCAA tournament. Allen and Nelson are out, the two guards. Who, by the way, when Nelson played at George Washington, they were enemies. I mean, they went at each other, and there was no love loss. Now they're teammates, and they've grown to really appreciate each other and each other's game, with Painter at the line hitting the shot. Jameer Nelson's a junior. So hopefully more for him coming up with this program of Delaware. Painter again. So Oshefu is in. They also bring in Gianmarco Arletti. He's from Bologna, Italy. He's on the ball right now defensively, watching more. And on top, Antoine Triple. Samuels just about had it, saves it, hurtling his body out of bounds and gets it back to Moore. He'll drive right down the lane, barging in with a whistle. No stopping, no quitting in this Villanova team. See, they know how to... They only know how to play one way. Well, Reggie, they're up by 20 points, and Samuels goes into the bench <laughs> trying to save the ball. Right. It looked like an assistant the, coach yeah, assistant took a coach shot. Got hit. Yeah. yeah, it looked like an assistant coach on Villanova as his, Samuels was trying to save the, the basketball went right into the face. Yeah, there's blood. He may have broken his nose. Samuel saving the ball here, and the assistant coach coming up. Ooh. Yeah, took an inadvertent elbow to the nose. That's, that's what you call taking one for the team right and there. That's the only thing that's gone wrong for Villanova this afternoon. Oh, my. Moore. Joku will check in for Villanova. Archie Diacono is in. Antoine stays in the game. Trey Patterson has come in, a freshman for Villanova for the final two minutes. With the ball here, Wes Patterson, who's a Peterson, who's a rookie, a freshman from Arlington, Virginia. 
Oshefu. His brother, Daniel, played for Villanova. This is Anthony Oshefu. He's a transfer from Stony Brook. We played 77 games. His older brother, Daniel, played four years at Villanova, including that 2016 National Championship team. And he has not played all. This is only the third game he has played all season. Daniels works on Peterson. Here's Patterson going down low. Archie Diacono with a three. And is it saved over there by Joku? No, it's picked up by Gardner. And Oshefu on top. Gardner. Well, I'm just impressed both of these teams continue to get after it at both ends of the floor here. It's a national audience. It's yes. the NCAA tournament. It's going happen every day. And you never know who's watching. You never and, know. And this is your chance to, you know, as you say, be a part of the tournament. Yeah. You know, when you think about some of these kids playing in their last game, and those kids of Villanova will clearly play again, but there's some on that Delaware team that will not. At the free throw line, Wes Peterson. And, you know, Dan, you think of all the practices parents have driven these kids to, all yes. the jerseys washed and all the different sacrifices the families of these kids have made over the years to let the dream continue for their son or daughter in the case of the women's tournament. Kevin, that's one of the things about the tournament is that there is a jarring finality for mm -hmm. one of the teams in every game. One of the teams... Yes, they go on, but it just all ends for the loser. A Dylan Painter, for instance, who began at Villanova and ends at Delaware. Archie Diacono. Daniels on top. Final minute. Wildcats are going to move on. And they will play Ohio State. Question is going to be can Ohio State bring that same level of defense that they brought against Loyola? And then finally their offense caught up to them with Wendell and Brennan. They're going to have their hands full versus this Villanova team. Caleb Daniels at the line. He's from New Orleans. He's a transfer from Tulane where he played 60 games. Started half of those, averaged 12 points a game. With Villanova, he averages 10. And Daniels today has got 15 with a couple threes and nine rebounds. He has been all over the floor for the Wildcats. Well, there's so many of the guys have, Kevin. You know, Samuels has 15 points, nine rebounds, three assists, a steal, and a block shot. <laughs> Davis Long with the ball, and he just lost it. Antoine. Trying to get free here is Patterson. It's Daniels. Antoine three. Rebound, leaping high and latching onto the ball. Was Arletti. You can only imagine the, the emotions going through Dylan Painter's head today. He was a first team All State player in the state of Pennsylvania. Went to Villanova, played his freshman year, redshirted his sophomore year, the year he redshirted, they won the national championship, and then he transferred. He felt he wanted to get some playing time early on in his career, and that was another reason why he went to Jay Wright. And yeah, they wanted to keep him. They wanted to keep him. They, but wa but they wanted to develop him. Yes. For moments like this, right now he would be... You know, a fourth, fifth year player for Villanova, but he wanted to play his freshman, sophomore year. Every right to do that. And as Jay Wright told us, there was no, there was no animosity no, there. No, none. And that's why Jay would continually watch Delaware because he could watch him on TV. They called him yesterday the ultimate Villanova basketball player. They got rules and a culture for every program, and he followed it to a team.
But the Villanova Wildcats handling the 15 seed, a tank with the Buckeyes of Ohio State here Sunday in the round of 32. What an impressive performance by Villanova. Well, it was a statement win, right? And sometimes when you get wins like this in the tournament, you're trying to send a message to who you're playing next. Trust me, they were watching Ohio State and their defense in that first game. That's going to be fun. Ohio State is 100% healthy now. They get a couple guys back or a couple regular rotation players, including a starter young. Villanova at the top of their game. Ohio State Villanova Sunday will be terrific and there you see Painter and the coach Jay Wright who has great affinity for everybody that's gone through his program including those that have transferred and gone other places let's go to Dana guys thank you coach during this game Kevin and the guys were saying it you did everything that a two seed should do in a game like this I know it's going to be hard for you to agree with that, but what did you like that you saw in this first game? I, I like that we played 40 minutes. They're a really good team. They're, it took us a little time early to, to adjust to their speed. They're very intelligent, very well coached. So they took, they made some things difficult for us. So I was proud of our guys that they were able to adjust during a game. So I, I was a good effort. I'm proud of them. You told us yesterday Justin Moore could be an X factor. Today's performance would be an X factor performance. Yeah, man. He's a tough kid and uh, like I said they were a little smaller and quicker and that they, they were in him early and it, it was something he had to adjust to and he's a smart kid he, he adjusted well real quickly coach what'd you say to Dylan Pedro but when you said hello over there and goodbye I just said I was proud of him he uh, he's had an unbelievable career he's won NSA tournament games for us and he, he brought a lot of leadership to that Delaware program I'm really proud of him thanks coach you got it see you Dan. see ya they don't come much better than Jay Wright. And now he'll get his team some rest and some dinner, and they'll dig into the tape and watch Ohio State, who won earlier today. It's a win of 20 points for the two-seed Nova. They take on the Buckeyes Sunday. Tournament games continue live now on TNT, TBS, and True TV. CBS primetime begins at 7 Eastern with Cal State, Fullerton, and Duke. You've been watching exclusive coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship.